Hello everybody, this is the planet Earth here. Um America's falling apart very slowly every day. Uh it has been doing that for years, but now it's really getting it's getting to that point where explosions are now starting to happen in this country. Very convenient that a fertilizer plant exploded. Very, very convenient. And they'll probably say it's accidental. However, upon further observation, a tornado hit that area last year and it hit the plant directly. Never didn't cause any damage to the plant. So, and that's part of my own observations of my weather software that I have here of past tornado events. One of them actually had to hit that actual plant, or the, the storm track showed it going right over that city and going near that plant. And if it can survive an EF2 tornado, it can survive, I don't know what happened, but I probably think it was an intentional setup. I mean, that's just a common thing to think about now. In the Boston Marathon, where some peace to all the people that passed away, the rest of the peace to all the people that passed away today, 418th, or 417th. 2013, 418, 419. Uh, I'm gonna say rest in peace, peace to the people from uh, 418 to 11, 2100. Because what's happening here is I, I feel that America's falling apart. I don't easily like to say this, but I think America's actually falling apart and this is not a good thing I feel that America is slowly ripping itself apart and I don't usually feel like that but um it is and there's not a whole lot that we can do however and nobody's gonna do anything everybody's just gonna sit on their computers and not do nothing until the next event happens and then the next event happens you know this is very coincidental you know the Boston Marathons and the Texas fertilizer plant um... very convenient around nine something um... i was i had everything muted and i heard a little a boom and this boom could be heard i i, I guess it was two hundred miles away from that city because it's near, it's near Fort Worth, so um, it, ca it 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 could have been heard if you listened carefully. I guess I wasn't really listening. I was just kind of like, boom, right? You know how you hear you hear like a big thunder, but it's not that loud. But you could hear it all the way over here. So it was a big, it was a huge explosion to be heard all the way over here, um, over 200 miles away. But you could hear it. You can't hear that explosion. It was loud. It wasn't loud over here, like shaking anything. It was just kind of like a you can hear it like a distant thunder, but it was crystal clear out at, at night. You, you could hear it though. I was like, I, I I didn't know what it was. Everybody thought I was crazy, which I am. Now, if this is gonna be coming more often and more common and more quote unquote accidental than that, I don't want to be living in the United States because of the dangers here and. I don't want to live in Canada because we're too close to the United States. Um, we need to uh, leave this country and get away from this drama. I mean, I know this drama in every country. What I'm saying is, everybody seems to want to target this country right now, and I, I just have this, this this gut feeling that there's going to be more explosions, and I don't want to be at public events right now until this is over, and I don't want to be near fertilizer plants. And luckily I'm not. And there's no plants around here within There's no oil plant. Oh yeah, there is an oil plant next door, so a refinery. That can explode. That can be very bad. So oh, well that's actually way over there, so I mean the probably thing would be a loud explosion and breaking of windows. Well, that one's like 11 miles, 12 miles, oh, no, not even that far. That's too close to the city, though, that, but that's probably why they put it away from everybody else, because you don't want to be that close to that freaking thing. And then the other plant is the Toyota plant, and they're not going to explode like that, but I know. And that one's like 
20 miles, 20, 25 miles away. Then you got Calaveras Lake, which is the electric trip plant. And that one is like 25 miles away, 30 miles away. So it would be just a loud explosion and maybe some broken windows if it was to ever be like that fertilizer plant. That is insane. Oh shit. Oh. Um. Hopefully San Antonio never gets attacked like that. But um, as just in general, I'm just saying, man, this is some fucked up bullshit, and I don't appreciate the government or terrorists or whoever the hell is doing it. They're doing this shit. It's bullshit. You guys gotta stop doing it. This video is not gonna be watched like that. America's falling apart, and. And the reason why I'm under the cover is because I like being under the cover. It's comfortable, so fuck you. And um, I just I just don't know what to say anymore. I mean, this is scary. Hundreds of people got, or a hundred people got, at least a hundred people got injured. Okay, and they expect those plants not to be exploding like that. So I'm a, I'm a bit suspicious. Because you could do a lot of damage with fertilizer, especially if you go boom, you know? It just adds to the stress and anxiety of everyday life in, in a weird way. Uh, we're already stressed out. All of us humans are already stressed out. Our cortisol, our cortisol levels are high as fuck. And uh, we don't need it to be that high. We're already paranoid people. <laughs> we don't need bombs practically going off in this country for it to cause more stir and anxiety. You don't want to live near a plant. That's all I know. Nuclear power plant. Hey, yo. I don't think it's North Korea doing it. I think people are trying to do it on purpose to try to scare people, and they don't realize that they're hurting people at the same time. So, um,. This is, uh, this is really scary. I don't care what anybody says. Um, what's the next thing that's going to be going off? I mean, because they never, they never caught the person, so. And they're probably not going to. If the person doesn't say anything, they'll never be caught. I mean, unless they can somehow bait, trace certain materials, I don't see them being caught. What's the government probably make something up, this guy's been caught when really they are the ones that did it, so whatever. Okay. Alright guys. What is your what is your say? Please comment on the comment section below if you guys could. Um thank you guys for watching the video. I really appreciate it though.